Okay. Uh, thank you to the venue for opening late for us. Thank you very much to Stephen for the invites and for organising the entire event. <coughs> thank you to um, Amplification in general in any and all circumstances. Thank you to the wall, um, especially the creases. I'll come back to the creases. <laughs> I was going to mention the wall. Thank you to the wall for this um, wonderful line here, which looks more like a, uh, a kind of spike in the stock market than a, than a piece of um, uh, plastering. I was thinking thank you because uh, in about 10 years' time, we'll find life on Europa, one of Jupiter's planets. At that point, rather than remembering where you are, at the point when life is revealed to me in our solar system, you'll remember this point and me thanking you for being here. Thank you to Martin for sending me some of his poems before we started this collaboration. And at the bottom of those poems was a picture of him with a, uh, a large, kind of unkempt beard. And uh, from which I, the reason I, I grew a kind of large, unkempt beard, uh, it, with the idea that we might stand on stage together in a kind of union of... Um, Unkempt busyness, and now I see him, and he's uh, I meet him for the first time tonight, and he's uh, Kemp, like an ex groom, and I'm standing here like a poor Xerox of Wacky Phoenix. <laughs> Thank you for the poet remains unnamed who is already undressed, Mike, with their eyes, and then put the belt back on. It's a cowboy thing. <laughs> uh, thank you to uh, um, uh, thank you to Max and Ernesto who were the first poets tonight to read entirely in German, uh, leaving me feeling like a mother linguistic prick. Uh, thanks to Mike for remembering their names. I was going to thank poets number one and two. <laughs> the deep love on a mattress for the backdrop of cruise missiles, which I'll never be able to remove. Uh, thank you to uh, Georg. Nice and right for the, the shirt and tie combination. I thought it was very tasteful. Uh, thanks to post three and four. Um, <laughs> Lauren Angus, man. Right? So, thanks to Lauren Angus. Ich glaube, die beide zusammen haben. Ach, mein Deutsch ist so schlecht. Wie sagt man, together they have a shared apophenia. Thank you, Angus, for each of you putting together on tonight. Danke an Berlin. Du bist so wunderbar. <laughs> thank you, Martin, again for making me feel like a monolinguistic prick. <laughs> uh, thank you to folks number five and six uh, for <laughs> reminding me of the riots in. Uh, Dan that was Daniela, Daniela, and um, Stephen. Was it Steve? Oh, it was Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> for reminding me of the riots in Hackney and how in a parrot is going new I, news. I watched Hackney and riots, Hackney being looted, whilst I was sat in Hackney inside in my bedroom. Uh, thank you to Christoph, whose line, um, Ever, Ever After, and that's where we thought will be carved into the decorative topiary of my, in the garden of my future estate. Thanks to poet number seven, who mentioned quantum physics without mentioning Schrodinger's cat, which is very hard to do. <laughs> uh, thank you to Sam, whose line, um, unfortunately happiness is not happiness. Great line, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> thanks to poet number 10, who made me think that the word chance in German is the same as chance in English, but it's very different in how pronunciation can make a word seem two different things. And also made me think how I'd love to be a Cray era gangster and say, no chance, mate, you've got no fucking chance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for um, social responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> poet number 12, for tightening my diarist's straits. Uh, thank you to poem number eight, who laid it out like a um, golf course in Dubai. <laughs> poem 15 and 16, DIY porn. Most of you will know that, some of you won't. Eight of you will Google it, six of you will do something about it, four will be thankful, two will be very thankful. <laughs> thank you to poem number 21, whose poem actually forms an acrostic of the word Israel, which, while problematic, is nevertheless technically impressive. <laughs> Poets 17 and 18 who together made me think of Willem Flusser and his idea that technical image is basically trumping language and there's no writing, no writing, no writing in the future. Thank you to poet number 10 who, um, even though I didn't write anything down from their particular set in, in no way devalues their contribution to this evening. <laughs> uh, following us will be poets 24, 5, 6. I mean, it's just amazing. Like they, they, they suffer together with sleep apnea. Like they, they would have come in here with very, very little energy, very little between them. But it's just going to, it's going to be incredible. <laughs> Thank you all in general in the audience for the accuracy of your collective gaze. Um, Thank you for the poet immediately following us, who was 
going to use her iPhone but now cannot. <laughs> Thank you to all the poets who did and did not use phones in it. <laughs> Thanks, Mike, for repeating that last thanks. <laughs> thanks, Mike, for calling me. Uh, thank you to the final poet tonight who will make us kind of bring to mind the recent immigrant who will come here tomorrow and tidy up afterwards, tidy our bodily excretions, our spilt drinks. And then also we'll just pause at some moment and we'll look around and just have this kind of this sense, this smell in the air, and he'll say to himself, that's poetry. <laughs> Uh, thank you to all the people I spoke to in the uh, intermission who um, uh, made me feel like not, learning, not knowing German tonight was a, uh, a kind of humbling experience for me and collectively rather than a, uh, you know, like a, like a slight on my personality or anyone else's personality who can't, can't speak German or, or doesn't choose to. Thanks Mike for killing those final three, two, one, second. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to everyone for standing. Thank you to everyone for standing up. <laughs> Thank you to everyone for standing. Thank you everyone for standing up and clapping. <laughs> Olivia, who later on will uh, break a glass and will wonder whether she broke a glass because we told her that we, she was going to break a glass. <laughs> and we'll then break another glass and then another glass and then another glass. And we'll go to sleep and then wake up and um, she will have only of glass and sand and water and of the hot viscosity of all things. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>